This is Stephanie, and you are in my kitchen. I thank you all for coming. I thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. And please keep on doing just that. And don't forget to look down in the box and check out my Amazon store. All right, today I am making some um, sway fish. It's really good. I've been buying it from, uh, already cooked from um, Stu Leonard, and it really is delicious. So I'm gonna do my version of that fish. I bought it fresh from Stu Leonard, and I'm gonna cook it up myself. So it was $5.99 a pound, which, you know, I got a pound and a half here, and that's like, that's pretty good. I got five pieces for a pound and a half. They're nice size, white, flaky fish. So it's sort of a flounderish kind of fish to me, a little bit more, it's a little thicker, but it's a good fish, and I'm gonna show you. So here's five, my five pieces of fish right here. And we, of course, we're gonna use that. And I'm gonna use some onion powder. And that's how, you know, that it, always some onion powder on my fish. I like it that way. Some adobo, light adobo on it also. Give it an extra little kick. Some obey seasoning. I'm not using a whole lot of seasoning on this. Some of this lemon peel. Um, so you don't have to use this. Uh, if you have lemon pepper, you can use that. But I don't, if I have lemon pepper, I would, you know, because I, I like the lemon part of it and I don't want all the salt from the lemon pepper. So I just happen to have this and it'll work, it'll look, it'll work similar, you know, to that. And, or you just wait and then put some lemon on it, which is what I'm going to do after it's cooked. I'm going to squeeze some lemon on it. That's what I'm going to do. And I need butter for the, for the dish right here. Got some butter that's going actually in my frying pan. I have some all-purpose flour. That's just all that is. There's no seasoning in it, just plain all-purpose flour. Some, I have some eggs. I got two eggs in there and some milk. And the milk, and it's in here. I mixed it up, two eggs and milk. A little, just a dash of milk, and that's all. I beat it up. First of all, we season and stuff. I'm gonna put uh, some onion powder on it first. Just shake it up high, shake it from high, and shake some onion powder all over it. I like onion powder on my fish. I like that oniony taste on my fish. So I put, always put some onion powder on my fish. And next, I'm gonna use some Old Bay seasoning. Not a lot, but definitely a little because it's salty. Just a little on there. There we go, come on. It is definitely salty. It has pepper in it, enough pepper for me, so I don't need lemon pepper, because this stuff has enough pepper in it in the first place in my, for me. So that's it for that. And then I'm gonna put some of this uh, lemon peel on. Just sprinkle it from my pie. Just a little lemon flavoring, that's what I like. And so we turn it over and we do it again. Turning it over. On this side of my fish, I'm using the adobe, the adob adobo. So I'm gonna use that. Also, this is a seasoning uh, spice. So it's, you know, all purpose seasoning, very similar to this one. So you don't wanna use too much or both of them on the same time. So I'm putting on this, on one side I have this, on the other side I have this. So I don't get too much salt content. So I'm gonna put some on this side, sprinkle this. Also, this adobo um, is a light, the light version. And Ned is the one, my friend Ned, you guys saw my friend Ned. He's the one who turned me on to this adobo, and I do like it. He's the one who actually turned me on to the stuff, but I just told him you need to find a lighter version of it because the, the normal one has too much salt in it. So I found this, and this is the one I've been using ever since. So thank you, Ned. And also, next one who also told me about sway. I did it, I cooked it once the way he told me with, um, I think some flour and some corn, um, some flour and some breadcrumbs, but uh, I'm, I like it better with the, with the uh, flour and the egg and the egg in that way. So that's the, we putting that on and we also putting some more onion powder. Remember it's onion powder. So it has no salt in it. So you can season all you want to with it because it doesn't have any salt in it. 
And the best thing for us to do is try to keep our salt content down. That's what we want to do. And none of, none of this, because we already did that. And a little of this lemon peel. Put some of that on there too. That's all I'm doing. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, this is the um, egg mixture, and I'm going to dip it in, dip it into the egg mixture. You know, some people want to have clean hands for that. Like one clean hand, this is a messy job, in my opinion. I'm not an expert at it, but I know it's a messy job, so I do it the way I do it. And I try to keep one hand clean, but that can be sometimes a little hard to do. So I do my best with that. So I wanted to just get a dusting of flour on here, and then I'm gonna put it on the side and wait until I'm ready to put it in the, in the frying pan. So again, see my hands are dirty? I'm gonna use this old dirty hand. Okay, I'm at the stove and I am back. So you can see my, you can see my pot, my pan. This is a cast iron pan, um, nonstick. Uh, I got it from QVC. It cost about no more than $30, maybe 20 plus, and I love it. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you guys that I love this pan and I use this pan all the time, especially when I'm gonna cook and fry up or something in my, uh, in my um on my stove so the oil get hot right there there you go so you can see and here that is my that's the um sway that's already seasoned so i'm gonna have it on the side over here ready for when when this gets hot now i also need to put in some butter I got some butter right here. It's got it's got to have butter in it. Everything's better with butter. I'm gonna put some butter in. So I put in about you know maybe two tablespoons of butter in here to give it the taste I I want. That's why I like my flounder fried this way because the butter taste makes it delicious. So that's what I'm doing. I, I, want, I like it with that kind of, with that flavor. So, you'll see how I'm gonna make it. And I think you might enjoy it if you try it. This has cooked on one side for maybe three minutes, maybe three to four minutes. I'm gonna check it out. It looks like this side right there is getting brown. I don't know if you guys can see it right there, getting brown. So I wanna check out what it looks like on the other side. There we go. And I use two. I use my spatula and I use um, another spatula if you have, but something else when you wanna put things over in some oil like this. You wanna that, that stops it from that stops it from splattering on you when you're trying to when you're trying to cook. So I'm gonna get this side over and bring it over like that. It's not brown enough for me, but I'll turn it over. I'll turn it back over again. Gonna wait on the other two. Uh, 
right, I'm going to start to turn over again. So this one is dry. Ah, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. Here it is. The one in the middle, you can love. This one over here. The one in the middle needs love. Just going to come out to the corner. Yeah, the middle. Over there. Move it over. All right, that's beautiful. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. I'm going to put them in here for a moment while I, while I finish the last two. Want to get a nice brown color like that? That's what you're looking for. This brown color. That's what you want to see. And that one there should be ready in a minute. Gotta be ready within a minute. And this one, come on, girl, she's ready. And she go. While that's getting the color I want it to be, I'm gonna put another two in. Gently. See how I gently put that in? Gently. You don't want to get popped. So you gently put it in the frying pan. Let's see how you're doing. I think you're good. I only need it a minute. Yep, that's it. She go into I put the very last one in. Put it in like that. Gently. And that's it. Turn down a little bit right now. If you if you notice some smoke, you want to just turn turn the flame down a little bit. That's all you want to do. Turn the flame down just a little. If you're noticing that it's, it's smoking a little bit. And butter will smoke because butter, you know, has a, it's not like um, like a regular um, vegetable oil. It has a low smoke point, so it'll smoke fast. And there's butter in here. So you want to turn it down just a little if you start seeing some smoke. And I want to turn this over. What is that? Because this is what this is. This um, oil is definitely now hot. I don't think she's ready yet. I don't think she's ready yet. You just turn it like that. It's a fast meal. You want something real quick? This is always going to be a fast meal. It's always going to be good. It's always going to be delicious. I like fish, so I can do this all the time. back to the table so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it take it back to the table and I'm gonna show you guys what I do with it next okay be back okay guys I'm back 
And I want to show you my fish now. There she goes in the plate right there. There goes my fish. She's right here. And also, I have cut my cut my my um lemon with my cutco knife. Another thing I recommend, cutco is great. And I'm gonna take a piece of the lemon in here, and I'm gonna squeeze lemon juice all over it. That's what we that's what I'm about to do. Oops. <laughs> Let me get her in there again. We'll squeeze the lemon all over it. I want lemon juice on the fish. All over it. I think that's what that's what um, Stu Leonard did, and it was really good. Really, really good. So, that's what I'm trying to do right now. There's a half a lemon I squeeze on there. And I think that's going to be good. Now, of course, I'm going to give it a taste because that's me. I'm going to give it a little bit of a taste right here. I'm going to hide that piece so I can take a picture. But I'm going to taste it for you guys. Okay, I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to take a piece of my fish. And I am going to try it. So, I just took a piece right off. There you go. And, mm, it's really good with the lemon. Really, really, really good. The lemon and butter, like, mwah, delicious. Really good. Really good. So, like I said, if you have lemon pepper, use some lemon pepper. It should be marvelous. Okay? Thank you, guys. I'm going to show you the last picture of my, of my wonderful sway. And thank you, and thank you, Ned, for telling me all about this fish. This fish is really good. I'm gonna put some lemon on for decoration. That's what I'm gonna do. Decorate it with some lemon, just like they do in a store. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for loving, for, for liking and sharing and subscribing. And thank you all the time for being here. Please look down in my um, description box for my Amazon store for some of the things that I recommend. You know, just take a look, have a, have a peek. And I would really appreciate that. And I also really appreciate you. Have a wonderful day, okay? Wonderful, Mwah. see you later, bye-bye.